So in brief, quite a typical life of a quite a typical antisocial person of his time. Kind of Donnie Darko on a minor scale, without doomsday related visions. Maybe some highly respected director director will make a movie about me, and it will become a classic of modern day cinema. Or I'll make one myself. However, what's the point of ruling myself? I tried many times, but couldn't even come up with a single simple script. I've also tried learning many other things. Not gifted enough to draw, programming, got bored. Foreign languages, takes too much time. The only thing I loved doing was reading, but still I would never have called myself a scholar. Perhaps I was an ace in watching anime and grandmaster of the lame internet jokes. If I were to get paid for it, I would probably would be a happier person, and a richer person too, but I doubt it would fill the hole inside me. <laughs> I got a little bit of a sniffle here. Today was another typical day for of a typical loser's typical life. And today is the day when I have to go to my university reunion. Frankly speaking, I really did not want to. And what is the point? The time I spent with them was so short. However, I got persuaded by a friend. My former university mate, and one of the few who I kept in touch not only through the internet. <coughs> uh, sorry. Whoa. Ooh, those crisp sounds. <laughs> what? A frosty evening. Bus stop, waiting. I never liked winter. Though hot summer is not my season either. It's just that I see no reason to point out any particular time of the year. It does not matter much what weather it is outside, since you spend 24-7 at home. The bus today was running so late that I was about to curse it all and spend the last few hundred rubles for a taxi. The idea of returning home didn't cross my mind for some reason. Rubies. As usual, millions of thoughts flew through my mind, but there is not a single useful one to seize. Such thought that you could bring to existence, give it a shape, turn it into idea, and put it into practice. Maybe I should start. I could start my own business, but where would I get the money from? Or maybe I could go back to working in an office. No, no way. Maybe I should try freelancing, but what skills do I have? Who needs me after all? Pretty uh, pessimistic way of thinking. I suddenly remembered my childhood, or rather, teen years, the time when I was 15 to 17 years old. Why exactly those years? No idea. I guess it's because back then, everything was much more simple. It was easier to make decisions, so complicated now and so simple then. Waking up in the morning, I knew exactly how my day was going to pass, and I was always eager eagerly looking forward to the weekend. Then I could get some rest and have time for the things I liked. Computer, football, going out with friends. So he's an antisocial person that plays football and spends most of his time on the internet. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, okay. Going out with friends. And then at the beginning of the week, I take up my studies again. Back then, there were no such worrying questions as why, who needs it, and what will change if I do it, or what will not change. A simple life stream, so casual for any normal person, and so odd to myself today. Careless childhood age. It was also then that I met my first love. Her appearance and character have vanished from my memory. Only her name remains, like a brief line from a social network profile, along with the feelings which overwhelmed me when I was with her. Affection, tenderness, desire to care for her and to protect her. Sadly, it didn't last long. Today, I can hardly imagine something like that happening. I'd probably like to meet a girl, but I don't know how to start a conversation. What on earth to discuss and how to attract her? Well, I haven't met a suitable girl for a long time. But where can I meet one? Aww. Oh. <clears throat> the sound of an engine working brought me back to reality. A bus pulled over. 
There's something abnormal about it, I thought. Then again, doesn't matter. Only the 410 runs this route. <clears throat> Whoa. Street lights passing me. It is as if their cold light sparks inside of me, trying to light up feelings long dead. Or maybe not sparks, just waking them. Because those feelings, they have been living in me for a long time, quelling down and waking again. The driver's radio was playing some very familiar tune, but I wasn't listening to it. I was watching cars passing by through the fogged up window, because people are always rushing somewhere, chasing something they need, stuck in their own little worlds, why would they care about mine? They probably have their own serious problems, or maybe they have much easier lives. You can't know for sure, since all people are different. Or aren't they? Sometimes, someone's actions can be easily predicted, but if you look inside his soul, you will only see impenetrable darkness. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the bus was approaching downtown, and my thoughts were interrupted by the bright city lights. Hundreds of ad boards, thousands of cars, millions of people. I was watching this light show, and somehow I got terribly sleepy. My eyes closed for just a moment, and then... I was back, in the gates. Oh, cutscene. Oh, snap. Those animations. Ooh. Whoa. So, oh, who's that lovely lady? Oh, uh, I don't know how to say that name. Oh, oh, so it's this kind of game. Um, oh, oh, okay, um, hmm. I'm gonna have to give everyone a name, aren't I? Why? Everyone was like, oh, this, this game is so good. Nah, I watch a lot of anime. Same thing happens there. Everlasting Summer. Except I'm not really sure what that says. It probably says Everlasting Summer. Hopefully. Day one. Yeah, I've, I've seen people in the reviews have like hundreds of hours in this, so... I'm only going to attempt to play it for a few hours. Maybe longer if people like it. Bright daylight struck my eyes. At first I didn't pay attention, as I wasn't fully aware yet. On their own, my legs carried me towards the door. Semyon. Dang! Looks like I fell asleep and missed my stop. But there were no doors. I looked around the bus and realized that it wasn't a good old worn out Marco Polo. Instead, the bus was an Icarus model and knew I was frozen in shock. How? What? Am I dead? <laughs> That's the first thing I think. <laughs> Am I dead? Have I been kidnapped? No, I must be dead. I touched my body wildly, slapped myself in the face a few times, struck the back of the front of my, the chair with my forehead. It's clear, either I'm still alive or being dead, you can still feel the pain. But how could this all happen? How could all this happen? Maybe I was asleep for too long and ended up in the bus depot. And then what? Did they put me onto another bus? I rushed out and looked and took a look around. Greenery wherever I looked, tall grass on the roadside, trees, flowers, summer. But how? It was winter just moments ago. I had a terrible headache, as if my head was going to explode. Step by step, I started to recall. 